Okay, this is a tutorial on how to draw Lewis structures, and uh, we're going to try to do this in uh, the least amount of steps that I know of. So, um, and it, it follows closely with our uh, with our uh, textbook as well. So make sure you check out those pages, um, either before, or after, or both. Um, watching after the or before this tutorial. All right, so the very first step, the most, the most important step, if you're ever going to write a Lewis structure, draw a Lewis structure, the first step is to count the total number of valence electrons. Okay, and uh, I, I like to abbreviate this as VE like that. Um, if you're doing an ion, then either add, so either a cation or, or anion, that actually counts towards the total valence count. So add or subtract. And you'll see when I do a few examples, I'm going to try to do a few ions. Add or subtract the charge to your valence electron count. All right, so while I'm giving these steps here, I'm going to I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to use uh SO2 sulfur dioxide. And remember we're counting valence now. So so again to get the valence, you look at the column number and the one that's numbered with the A on it. So sulfur is in 6A. So sulfur has 6 valence. And oxygen is also in 6A. It's right above sulfur, so it has 6 valence times 2. So this brings us to a total of 18 total valence electrons. All right. So the next thing to do is write the likely central atom Um, how do you know which one is central? It's pretty much always the first atom written. However, on when sometimes you know when six A makes a molecule, it's it's the second atom written. But the easiest way to tell is it's the one with the most single dots. Actually, that doesn't work with this one because they both have equal number of single dots. It's usually the first one written. So I'll just write that. It's usually. the first atom written um, in the formula. So th then what you do is you you attach the outside atoms with single dots. You know, I just noticed something. It's usually the f the first atom written uh and there's usually one of them. So in this case the example I'm using, there's one sulfur. Okay, and it's the first one written. So there's usually one of them. Okay, attach the outside atoms with single I wrote dots, I meant to write with single dashes. And then add lone pairs or uh double dots until all atoms fill their octets. So, um, okay, so we'll take our, uh, we'll take our single atom here, sulfur, and then, uh, we'll, I'm just going to literally follow these rules. So attach the outside atoms with single dashes. Okay, so you make, I like to call this the skeleton. 
Okay, so you gave it some bones, your Lewis structure. And uh, now it says, so we did that easy enough. We have our central atom, and we attached, so we have two oxygens. So I, I put them, uh, attach it with single dashes. Now it says add lone pairs until all atoms fill their octets. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go like this, two. Okay, this counts as two, that dash right there. So sulfur right now has uh, it has two plus another two, so it has four electrons. So I need two double dots or two lone pairs to fill the octet. Okay, this oxygen is only making one dash, so I need to add three lone pairs around it. Okay, so now uh, everything f has filled its octet, so this has eight electrons. Okay, the sulfur, it gets those two dashes, so that's two, four, uh, six, eight. So the sulfur has eight, and then this oxygen also has eight. So they all have octets. Okay, now what you do after you've done these two steps is you count, and you see if it adds up to 18. So now do a count check. Do a count of electrons and see if it matches this 18. Okay, and if it doesn't match the 18, then I'll, sh I'll show you what to do. So this one's not going to match. Okay, so this one right here, that's 8 plus 8 more electrons. So that's a total, so that's 16 already. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so my structure has 20 electrons on it, which does not match the 18. If it did match, we'd be done with our Lewis structure but it doesn't match. So here's what you do. If you go, so we're actually over, we're uh, two electrons over, so here's what you do. Um, we'll make a separate rule here, so a separate step. So if you, go over the the number Uh, valence electrons, then you remove uh, lone pairs by a um, adding double bonds. So if I so in this case I'm two I'm only two electrons over, so all you have to do is uh. It doesn't matter which one which one I choose. I could choose this one to remove or this one, or the bottom one. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to take these and these and I'm going to remove those and then add a double bond here. Okay. So now I do a I do a count. So you have to keep guessing and checking basically. So now I count again. So now count again and see if it matches 18 it should so uh, this right here okay this right here is uh, 8 there's 8 more right here that's 16 plus 2 more right there so that's 18 so so again that's 8 plus 8 that's 16 plus those two that's 18 valence electrons so we're done with this structure Okay, so let me tell you uh, another rule. On this example, it didn't didn't happen, but what if you're under? Okay, if if you do that skeleton original skeleton structure, and then if you're under, so here's what you do. So I'll put step four. Um, so if you go under on your original count on the first time that you counted on the skeleton so if you go under the original if you go let's put it this way so if you go under the valence electrons uh, on your original skeleton structure or the original that had all the uh, all the dots on it 
on the the one that you had, you made all of them have octets on the original octet structure. So if your count is actually less than, then what you do is you add, then add lone pairs. Uh, to the central atom. Okay, as many as it as it takes to get to the correct number, the uh, the number that you started with. All right, so there's a couple things to check. So you might have noticed that I could have as just as easily. I could I could have just as easily put uh, this double bond. I could have just as easily put it here. Um, so that's something called resonance, and the two structures are actually 100% equivalent, so I could have done that, um, but I'm going to save that topic for uh, another tutorial um, and show you and, and talk about um, how resonance works. All right, so there's a couple things to check on your final structure, so let's go to the next um, let's go to the next slide. So there's a few things to check. So I guess in my steps here, this would be step five. So you have to check two things on the final structure. So check, and this is what I mentioned already, do you have the correct number of valence electrons and I so I check that on 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 mine and you also have to check something called formal charges for each atom okay and uh, um, I'm gonna make another We'll, we'll 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 see another tutorial of a special tutorial just for formal charges. Okay, so kind of like a some things involved. So to calculate a formal charge, you take the number of valence electrons of uh, the atom you're you're trying to assign a formal charge to. So you take the number of, of valence electrons of that atom, and you subtract the number of dashes plus the number of dots. So on my structure that I drew on the previous slide, I had this. And for, uh, so what exactly are you checking for? You're checking that the formal charges add up to the overall charge um, on I need to get rid of this for a second so you're chatting you're checking that the formal charges add up to the overall charge on the molecule so Let's apply this stuff I'm writing. Okay, uh, so let's assign this one a formal charge. It's, so it's the number of valence electrons of that atom. So oxygen has six, and you subtract the number of dashes it's making. So it's making two dashes plus the number of dots. So oxygen has two dashes and it has two four dots. Okay, so 6 minus 6 is 0. So this oxygen has a, a 0 formal charge. And this is totally, this is actually totally different than an oxidation state. All this is, is like, it, the book refers to it as a, it's bookkeeping on, on each atom. So you're trying to make sure nothing has some really outlandish uh, formal charge on it. And, it, and I'll, I'll tell you what that means okay, in the, um, the next tutorial. So if if this okay what does outlandish mean so if this was like plus 
three. That would be that would be like a really strange formal charge to have. Like something's wrong with that. So usually formal charges don't go over two, and even two is kind of weird. So it's sort of suspect. Like something might be wrong with your Lewis structure. So, um, okay. So on this oxygen, again, it has a uh, oxygen has six valence. Okay, and then you subtract the number of dashes. So it's making one dash, so it's one. So subtract the number of dashes and dots. So it has two, four, six dots and one dash. So it's six minus seven. So this oxygen actually has a minus one on it. Um, and this sulfur here has, um, it, sulfur also has six minus dots plus dashes. So two dots, three, four, five. So six minus five is plus one. So this sulfur here has a plus one. So you have a minus one and a plus one. So overall, this has a net charge of zero on the molecule, which is what it's supposed to have. So this checks out. So this worked, and then the formal charges worked. OK. Um, OK, so I'm, on to, uh, I'm going to end the tutorial here. OK, and then uh, just look for uh, part two, which is formal charges. And then I'm going to, we'll do uh, several examples of Lewis structures.